<laughs> yeah, tell us your, your first one. Tell us about your first time. I was, I was so intimidated. <laughs> I was so intimidated, but up to a certain point, because you know, um, it's such a well-known uh, piece and a dream come true for any soprano. And I was very, very lucky that it was a new production, so that gave me much more time. Mm -hmm. And I had wonderful colleagues. It was in Paris, actually, last year at the Opera Garnier with uh, um, uh, Simon Stone's production, modern, quite, uh, you know, a mano in, into my time. So in a sense of finding the girl was not so hard, but the hardest part has always been, I think, just having my soul and my being get used to hearing Verdi because it's my first mm -hmm. Verdi. I've never sung Verdi before. I've always really? been singing. Yeah. Really? You haven't sung Gilda? No, I haven't sung Gilda. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> exactly. So, oh, that's so cool. So it was like intimidating. How does it feel? But you sing so much bel canto. That's the you sing point. Bellini and Bel Bellini. 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 Bellini too. So in a sense, I've been singing a bit of uh, Lucia and when Traviata came, it came way before, but I just felt, no, not yet. No, no, not yet. I put the... <laughs> The score yeah. under my pillow. How was your first time? Your first, how old were you, Christina, when you sang your first Traviata? Um, I think 27. It was my debut in yeah. Europe. In Europe? <laughs> yes, I started with Violetta. Brava. Wow, good for you. But you had already been singing and studying Violetta before and you were dreaming of singing it? Or? I, I started learning this role, um, yes, before, like, maybe two years before. Uh, before I have a lot of uh, another experience in Bolshoi, I was, I was um, quite ready for Violetta. I did uh, Gilda before. <laughs> so you had sung some Verdi. Nori Norina and uh, La Samnambula, mm. a lot of um, different um, Operas and uh, it was in Oslo my first my first Violetta and it was modern production mm -hmm. very hard because uh, the production was like you Violetta should be always be on stage always oh goodness okay yes. she already is almost uh, always right? on stage isn't <laughs> yeah. she she's only like three scenes that she's not there yeah yes. wow my first one was traditional a lot more traditional at least it was in closer you know and I say that. In, in the sense that it was traditionally staged and traditional looking costumes, but really it was more like in the 50s, okay. uh, which there was a sense of conservatism in the, in the era, so that made sense. But at the same time, um, I feel like I really got to the traditional parts of the role. Like I didn't have to ask questions mm -hmm. like, you know, why are we doing this? Like nothing was no, like, no, why no. are we doing, like we didn't everything have to re-explain. Clean. Yeah, everything you. was very clear. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget, we sat there and we had to go every single line in mm -hmm. the text, make a literal translation with each other and talk like we were actors. And this was great because it made me really have to learn it. Um, and in the end, it made a much better like story for the character for myself that then when I sing it again I, I go back to that if I ever have a question I go back to that you know mm -hmm.